Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Britt here, and today I have an unboxing from Jet Pens. So really, I only got a few things. Um, I don't normally do my jet pens unboxings anymore so I thought why not try something different that I haven't tried in a while. So what I got is the Sailor Lacole Power Stone color fountain pen and this is in the rose quartz. Okay so let's go ahead and open it. It comes in this plastic or this paper sleeve and then this acrylic plastic container. So, they give you two cartridges, and these are Sailor cartridges, so. I don't know if that means it's proprietary cartridge for this pen. Okay, so this is how it's looking. It is a pretty color. It is pretty small as well. Uh, so I have average woman size hands. So it has a twist top and it posts. So I'm going to put in a cartridge just to see how well it writes. So in order to do that you have to twist off the body. Take this end and puncture, push it in and make sure it punctures. Hmm. Twist the body back on. And I'm going to twist the top back on as well. So this is made of plastic and it does have a nice finish to it. I see a little bit of a mark right here on the body. It's like a black mark, but that doesn't really bother me. And it does have Sailor Japan on the back and Lacole on the front. So I'm gonna set that here and then we're gonna dive into the next item. the Pilot Petite Mini Fude brush pen, and this is in the blue-black. It is very short. If you compare the two. And I want to try this because it's a brush pen, and I saw Lei with her brush pens, and I've never tried these before. They're pretty inexpensive, too. Oh, that's cool. It has like a little top, yellow top on Hold the ink in the cartridge. So these are cartridges, which means that you can buy different colors and refill them. And these things are so cute. Look how small that is. Okay, so I added the cartridge and it's a push top. Really small and cute. Really cute. And next is this guy. Very well packaged, by the way. I like this bottle. So it's it's not plastic. It is glass. Close up. This is what the bottle looks like. This is the Roher and Klinger Sketch Ink Clara Fountain Pen Ink. 
This is a 50 milliliter bottle and it's supposed to be waterproof. So we will test that out as well. Okay, so pen test. I'm gonna start off with the fountain pen, the Lacole Sailor. And I'm going to get to a blank page. So the ink has not entirely come down to the nib just yet. There we go. So I'm using Tomoe River paper and this actually writes pretty smooth for a cheaper end pen. And this is in the fine medium, which is the only size that they actually had. I spelled medium wrong. Okay. Anyway, I do like this. And it's one of those, I would consider it a pocket pen that you can kind of take just about anywhere with you and, and use. So I really like that. Okay, on to the brush pen. Excuse the noise, it's the refrigerator. This is the Pilot Petite 3 Mini. Ooh. I like it. And I like this color too. So the nib is very flexible. And you can get those really thin upstrokes. So this is cool. And you can get different colors. And since you can replace them, it's not a one-time use. You can actually refill these, which is convenient too. I like that. And then next, I'm going to try the sketch ink. It has a nice uh, tall neck, which allows, and a wide neck, so it would be easier to fill in a fountain pen without wasting it. I'm gonna take a watercolor brush. It has a very strong odor, actually. Ooh, I like this color. This is pretty. So it's more of a bright green. It's kind of showing up as turquoise. It's a little bit darker than this sheet here, actually. But it is pretty. Should be able to use water over it without it smearing. So I'm going to use this guy, my water brush. This is my um, mini water water brush. I've talked about it multiple times. I'm trying to let it dry a little bit just to see, make sure I do it correctly. Ooh, it does. It works. It is waterproof. Perfect. So this is perfect for journaling too. If you like to journal and then add color later or just sketching and using this ink to use watercolor over, you could definitely do that. So that pretty much completes my order. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and I will catch you in the next one. All right, bye. Thank you.